Hello children, welcome to program I Love Science. You must have heard about Newton, uh, a famous scientist who discovered the concept of gravity. There is a famous story uh, that he understood about gravity when he was sitting under a tree and an apple fell on his head. Now this person Newton also created some laws of motion which are called Newton's laws of motion. I have made a little toy uh, by which you will be able to understand all three laws of motion. So see what is this toy? Uh, there is a little uh, plastic base on which I have four wheels and these wheels can rotate. There is a little uh, balloon and a straw. So let's see how this uh, toy works and then I will explain all three laws of motion. So you saw how this uh, toy works. Now let's understand uh, all three laws of motion from this toy. We will start with the third law because that is the basic reason on functioning of this toy. The third law says that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Now see when this uh, balloon was blown and the air was coming out from the pressure, it came out from here in from the straw. Now because of that force by which the air was coming out from here, there was an opposite force on this toy car and that is why the car was moving in this direction. Now let's look at the first law of motion. Uh, it says that an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion unless an external force is applied on it. Now you observe that in the video when this car was running on the floor, the car kept moving even after the balloon had completely deflated. That means there was no force on the car but it still kept moving. That is because of the first law which is also called the law of inertia. Uh, so it will keep moving till the friction force because of these wheels uh, stops it slowly. And of course it will stay at rest, it will not move unless an external force is applied on it either by my finger or from the air. So that is the law of inertia or the first law of motion. Then come to the second law which is a little more difficult to understand. The second law says that force F is required to give an acceleration A to an object of mass M. Sounds complicated? Just look at it this way that if there is a force F which is making the car move, it is the multiplication of two things. Number one, the mass of this car and number two, the acceleration by which it is uh, changing the speed or moving faster. So you imagine uh, if I put some weight on this uh, toy car and then make it run, then it will run slowly. Why? Because if I increase the mass of this thing and the force coming out from the balloon is same, then the acceleration will reduce and the car will slow down. So there is a little more complex explanation to the second law, but I think we will stay like this and then say that if we increase the mass and then uh, the force is same, then the acceleration will slow down and vice versa. So that is how you can learn all three laws of motion of Newton uh, from one little toy. I hope you find it interesting. Have fun.